today hope all is well happy O'Shea Friday on this August 9th here today 2023 this is divine message coming from me to you Ola Fame and Oracle I have some great updates from my experience from my Lionsgate portal activation my E5 divination so I want to share those things with you guys today and I really appreciate appreciate you guys for watching and tuning in it's going to be good. And as always, I would love to read the energy of the day. The energy of the day is coming from the yellow rhythmic star. Right? Coming so very, very far. Yellow rhythmic star. Um, it is also part of the blood clan. That blood clan, again, is hey, it's, 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 taking, it's taking no names. Right? Um, I organize in order to beautify balancing art. I seal the store of elegance with the rhythmic tone of equality. I am guided by the power, my own power double. That's amazing, right? And I love the yellow star energy because it's actually one of my guiding stars, uh, right? So when I see that and this was the energy of the day, it was really good for me. And it gave, gave me more insight onto why I had the experience I had that I'm going to share with you all here today. So, now... Um, yesterday's portal activation whew, hit. So this morning, after I woke up, handled you know some business, I just I just had an overwhelming feeling to to just to just rest and go back to sleep, right? Just for a moment, just let me just gather my thoughts, gather myself, right? And this is what that's why I know that's a sign of like spiritual sleep, like when you have like a message, a channel, or a possession, or something that's coming through. And um, that's what that was. So went to sleep, and basically, as soon as I did, I started having the dream. Right, the dream was that I was driving down the street in my truck, <clears throat> hitting the gas. And next thing you know, I saw a big old lion just out of nowhere, like it was running towards me, right far away, but it was like running towards me. And I seen it was chasing the snake. I was like, oh damn, snake! Next thing you know, I didn't. Hit the gas and the snake was coming my way. They all came my way. And then it, it went right past me, went like went behind me. So what I did was I turned around. I was like, like I was trying to catch it too. Right? By the time I turned around and caught up, the the lion had bit the snake in two and the tail is swithered off to to one way and then the head, you know, it, it kept going on another way. And then the lion disappeared. I was like, what kind of energy is that? You know, so um I was like, man, let me let me let me see what's up with that. Let me get some energy and some some ashe and some interpretation, some dream interpretation on that, right? Now of course you don't really find too much online. I did still did a due diligence of, you know, some um, dream, you know, searches or whatever. But um in the holy Odoo is where it came through. I was like, wow. So what I did was, I was like, well, what verses of Ephi Odu have the lion there? What speaks about the lion? And guess what I found <laughs> from this Odu, all right? And I'm going to break it down in a few different ways because, you know, it's going to be a few different like, variations. But um, here's the first one. On the day, the snake promised to bite the lion. And the lion said he will not eat the snake. But we'll bite it in halfway so that the rest of the snake will go tell the other snakes that the lion will never be a prey of the snake. Right? I was like, what? Amazing. So here, right here, you see that I'm actually having a, a manifestation, right, of that divine segment energy coming into my life. Getting rid of the negative, serpentine, deceitful 
energy, right? That's trying to slither his way in my life, right? Which was the second time I, I actually dreamed about a snake this week, right? And I, the other one was kind of blurry. I remembered it clear when it first happened, and I didn't write it down, but it, it's kind of blurry at this point. But that energy has just been eaten, you know what I'm saying? So um, that was very powerful. So the dream was um, really for the enemies, right? This dream is for victory over enemies, and it's a message for your enemies to let them know that, hey, I'm not a prey. I'm not somebody you're going to play with. You're going to get eaten, right? And matter of fact, I'm going to spare you so you can go tell your friends what the word is. All right, can I get our shape? Can I get our shape for that one? All right, so let's move forward. Um, now I'm going to read this verse. And that will move forward. And, and it was so powerful to me because that's exactly what happened in the old dude. So I'm dreaming old dude. And I've done this several times. And I know a lot of you probably have. Dreaming old dude. That's a whole video in itself. Right? All right. Here's a verse. If I said that he sees someone who neither has his own plate or calabash, everyone, including his own relative, relatives say he has a bad head and are making fun of him. If I said this person will become important in the near future and that he will have his revenge. Okay. From the beginning of time, all the animals took advantage of the lion. If he lay asleep on the ground, they climb on top of him. They never show him proper respect. Lion got ready and went to the viners he asked them what he could do to gain honor and glory amongst his associates, right? So he was tired of playing games. He was like, look, I'm tired of y'all. The animals, people are disrespecting me. Let me go consult Ifa on what to do, right? They said, um, the diviner said that he should sacrifice one calabash of water, ashes, three clubs, and Ifa leaves, a leaf of honor, right? They said that he should cross Ifa. Crush the ephi leaves in the water, add the ashes to it, and drink it. And they told him that he would lay down anywhere. He should make a circle of urine about the spot. So basically, he's, he's marking his territory, right? So you're going to see what happens when animals, and particularly the lion, you know, mark their territory. It's, it's an actual spiritual sign. Um, after the lion made the sacrifice, when he wanted to sleep, he urined about the place where he was going to lie down. When the other animals wanted to lie on top of him, like they did in the past, they stepped over his urine and they fell dead upon the ground. Okay? Thus, lion, be lion came to be feared from the other animals. When they heard his voice, they frightened and trembled from that roar. Right? And since that day, when the lion roars, it is said, aside from men, Aside from myself, aside from the sky god, who else is there, right? So many are like, what other animal, who, who, is, who, is, who is roaring like me? Who, you know, when you see, when, you, when men speak, it's, it's commanding. When the sky speaks, everyone hears it, is known. So same with the lion. He had that realization, right? Okay, now uh, here's the other part. Um, if I said that there is someone who has a title, he will be removed from office, and a person who stays in the corner will be chosen to fill his position. All people will rub their hands to the person of the corner and pay homage to him. Okay? There is also a deity that was once worshipped by all the people of the house, but they did not worship him, and the forest has overgrown on the altar. We should renovate the altar, tie young palm frogs at its entrance, the person of the corner is someone who young children and elderly people like, but he will leave in this corner and come out in the open. All right. There is a hen at the house of a person for whom this figure was cast. The hen has chicks. We will take them both, the hen and the young, to make the sacrifice. All right. If I said this person who stays in the corner will come out into the open. He will accompany an important person and remain in office for a long time. The sacrifice is one he go, um, yada, 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 cloths and things like that, right? So I just wanted to leave you with that story today, 
right? And again, some of my experience, right? And even though what I cast, that was my dream, right? But I still cast a different old dude for my O'Shea Ifa, you know? And it just really let me know the importance, you know, again, of dreams, you know, of divination, of, of, of these activations, and stand on top of your spiritual work. And I hope this message finds you well. I hope you can find and extract some wisdom from this old dues and from 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 the um you know from everything that we have to study may you please find this message well may you find yourself and may your destiny find you asha